What are other things you need to, to get your, your job? Well, I talked a little bit about agent, uh, internships with the agency. What you really need to get a job in the UN system is you need to meet people. Uh, I've had to admit this recently, is to get a UN job, you've got to know somebody. You do. Um, and uh, that's really what it means. Now, getting to know someone means more that, okay, I was buddies with you know, the, uh, this minister of the environment in uh, Sierra Leone, and so I've got this job now. What it means is to say is that you need to know people who work in the agencies. You need to know people who can tell you what's going on, what are the needs for skills, and you need to know people who know you and trust you and can help bring you into different interview processes. Because the UN system, the interview processes are very, very formal, but as you're all aware, even though they're formal procedures, the informal connections always make a difference. You know, If someone knows you or knows of your work, it's a leg up in an interview. If you know about what's going on in the agency, you perform much better in an interview. You know what's going on, you know what the issues are, that kind of thing. So internships are uh, a way to do that. You get internships with a particular agency. The other thing you get with internships is you get experience. You demonstrate that you work in a particular field. So the internships, they can be with the UN agency, but these are very hard to come by. I have to be honest. In our office, the internships we have are limited by the number of desks. We have eight different desks. So we can't take more interns than that because we can't put you on the floor and you can't work at home. Uh, so one of the things we suggest instead is that you should find other organizations that work with us and get an internship with them. For instance, for biodiversity, we're in Montreal, where the Secretary's located in Montreal. We do work with a, a place called the Center for International Sustainable Development Law at McGill University. And uh, people who do work at that center, be it research internships or fellowships, uh, those people um, actually, they get jobs with us later on, or they become, uh, they work on our projects, or work with other national governments on that basis, so that experience. The other thing I think is really key is you need some experience working abroad. Even like me, if you're going to work in an office here in Canada, um, you need to have some form of international experience because the UN system places a premium on your ability to work in an environment, a multicultural environment, a cultural environment that is different from the one that you're accustomed to. Uh, and also, if you're going to think about working in some of these field placements, if you're going to work for UNDP or you're going to do work with the peacekeeping operations, they want to know that you've been able to live in a tent for three weeks, uh, those kind of things. Um, so, and actually, this cultural thing is very important because I was all smug that here I'm a Canadian and we live in a multicultural environment and I've lived in Montreal in two languages and I can manage this. And I found actually my first 18 months of the secretary very hard because I was working in a unit that was full of Brazilians and I'd never met with, worked with Brazilians before. I mean, I also thought, oh, I work in Mexico, I know, I'm just fine, but I never worked with these Brazilians. See, I had two people who had come out of the Brazilian Foreign Service. And it was a very particular way they had of uh, working professionally and understanding they had of the way their organizations work and hierarchy and structures work and a sense they had of how the informal and the formal works. I was always having fights with them for 18 months. And I couldn't figure out what this was. What's going we weren't getting things done. And so it took me a while to figure out that, first of all, my boss came from the Brazilian you know, Foreign Service and there's a certain esprit de corps in a way that you tell him things and a way that you report through the channels. I had to learn that. Because uh, I'd worked in an information technology firm where it's full of 25-year-olds running all over the place, you know, playing foosball. And so I had to learn that that's not the way that the organization works. But also I had to learn, too, that in fact that some of this, um, uh, uh, some of the way that we interact with some of the conflicts and stuff is just the way that they worked, right? It was very emotional, but it was no big deal. You know, for me it was a big deal, but for them it wasn't a big deal. So, but you get some of those experience working abroad, and I think you need to, you need to learn that. What other things do you need? Um, language skills. Uh, I think language skills are extremely important. Uh, even in my office, we have some people that have only got one language. We find, and maybe it's just because I'm doing outreach work, you really need to know a couple of languages. I mean, in Canada, if you can learn English and French, that makes a big difference. But if you can pick up other foreign languages, it's a big deal. Um, the UN languages are you know, English, French, Spanish, Russian, uh, Arabic, and Chinese. Uh, and if you can master you know, at least two of those UN languages, at, at a fully functional level and have a working uh, ability in one other, it makes a huge difference. It affects your salary later on, but it allows you to finish with other off offices. And I've just said before, you need connections with the agency yourself itself. You need to know people in the agency. You need to go to conferences where they are. Uh, and, and for instance, with the Convention of Biodiversity, one of the things I would argue is that if you're interested in the field of biodiversity and you're interested in work at the convention, you should find out where our meetings are being held, our big intergovernmental negotiating meetings, and go come to them. Sometimes we have them in Montreal, sometimes they're abroad, but with any agencies, you should have a chance to go to those meetings.